for question F, we want to be able to factor out some parts here. So that 2x is going to be, we can factor that out. So we end up with 2x. And then what's left over should be my 1 over 1 minus x. Now this x part is going to be that x, a 3x to the power 3. So I'm going to put in here 3x to the power 3. So I'm going to simplify that to 27. I'm just going to put the, the cube into those brackets there. It looks like this. So these are equivalent expressions. So now I can try to put this in the sigma form from n equals 1 to infinity. Okay, I'm going to have that 2x. I'm going to put that in there like that because it's going to multiply every term. And then this part represents my x to the power n minus 1. And I'm going to replace that with 27 x cubed. So I can simplify that expression. I'm going to separate out my, my 2 and my 27 to the power n minus 1. And then I have x to the power 3n minus 1. And then I have that extra factor of x. Okay, So this x here comes from that x there. And then doing some exponent algebra here, I end up with n1 to infinity, 2, 27 to the power n minus 1. And then this becomes x to the power of 3n. Sorry, this should have been minus 3 up here. Okay, this should be 3n minus 2 when we combine that together. So this is... This is generated by combining that together.